Hello, I'm Leslie Logan, and today we're going to work on the short box series. So um, I love the short box series. I know most people hate it. They really don't love it. Um, there's a lot of movement going on, a lot of like, why are we doing this? And so I want to really break that down. And um, I talk a lot about it in my online classes. So if this is something that's what you want to really explore, join me on those. Um, I have two straps here. And this is super important. Those two class make noise. Why do I want them to make noise? Because that tells me if they're making noise and I'm not connected to my center. Okay, so I flex my feet. I try not to flex my toes too much. Keep your feet long and then flex the feet back, pressing out not at the knees, but at these outer hips, these AB ductors, right? And then you can take your arms around your waist with your shoulders on your back. You round back and then you round up. And it's important that you don't slide around on your box. You can also have a sticky pad here so you don't do that. You can round back all the way down and go into extension round up and come all the way up. Notice how my legs don't move. If your legs move, you've gone too far for your strength today, okay? If your legs narrow, that's even worse <laughs> so, because it means you're letting go of your outer hips. The harder it gets for you, the more you want to press out. So when you are like, oh my God, it's so hard to come up, push out on your thighs, that will engage your seat and then you just come right up. Super fun. Now, you can take your bar. See how long this bar is, guys? I see a lot of short bars. Um, you want it to be super long because then when your arms are over your head, you have space for your shoulders to actually be wide and not in your ears. And then you don't have to think about shoulders down. They'll just be on your back. So I like to pick a spot on the wall. And as I lean back, I look at that spot. And that may make me look down at the bottom of my nose, but it's better than looking up at the ceiling. I can't do it, I can't even do it. So pick a spot on the wall and go back as far as you can. Keep both legs pressing out from the thighs and your spine long. Try not to lead with your ribs. I see a lot of people come up like this and that's not sexy, it's not good. Okay, so then side to side. Lift up and you can go up and over to one side and up and over to the other side. Something you want to be mindful of is that when you're going to the side, I'm just going to turn to you for a second. When you go to the side, don't do this, right? It's not in the arms, it's the waist. I could do it here without anything because I'm not, it's a really small, unexciting movement. <laughs> it's pretty uh, frustrating because you just go a little bit. Okay, now twist. You twist without moving your hips. You push out on both legs and you reach and you go as far as you can keep both sides long. So as I go to the right, I'm opening my left armpit more, but I gotta keep my bottom waist super long, right? Super, super, super long. And then you can go around the world. You twist, you open up, you go to the other side. Make sure when you go around the world, that you're not whipping your arm around. It's got to be from the waist. I see a lot of this happening. We don't want that. Sometimes I even think like when I'm twisting, I think arm back, rib forward. So it keeps my arm behind my ear, so to speak, so that I'm not tempted to do something like that. And then you would go into your tree, which I've done that tutorial with a couple different tips on there with the back bends and everything. So if you want to see that and you can't find it, please hit me up in the comments below. Also, if you want to try this whole series with different variations, join me on onlinepliesclasses.com where I have a new reformer class every week. It's only 30 minutes, so it's really easy to fit into your busy day. Thank you so much for watching this. Subscribe to this channel so you never miss a tutorial from me. See you next time. Hi, I'm Meredith, and I'm one of the people creating onlinepilatesclasses.com. One of the things that I love most about this project is that we're building the very first free online catalog of Pilates exercise how-to videos. We release three new videos each week. People often leave comments asking Leslie to explain a specific exercise, and you can do that too. And if you love watching these videos and believe in the project of creating this catalog, 
You can support it by joining Leslie every week in her online mat and reformer classes. Just go to onlinepilatesclasses.com slash subscribe.